Uh, but we begin here this morning with the CEO of Norfolk Southern, who is set to testify on Capitol Hill today. Alan Shaw is expected to tell the Senate committee investigating the train development in East Palestine, Ohio, that he is, quote, deeply sorry for last month's crash. In his prepared, pre-prepared written testimony, Shaw says the company has already invested more than $20 million in the cleanup efforts. He's expected to testify that, quote, this is a down payment. I am going to see this through. There are no strings attached to our assistance. Of course, you might remember people who live in the area were forced to evacuate their homes after a freight train carrying hazardous materials ran off the tracks. Some people say they are still sick as a result. So we want to bring in Erin Stauffer now. She lives in East Palestine, Ohio, and she's a member of the nonprofit group Moms Clean Air Force. She's in Washington this morning to attend that Senate committee hearing. Erin, thank you so much for joining us. We're sorry that you and your family and your neighbors are going through this. But tell us, uh, as a resident of East Palestine, a bit about your experience and that of your neighbors. Um, so originally, I think I did not realize how serious the derailment was until like Saturday morning. Um, and I think our immediate concern was that we weren't really sure what the train was carrying. Um, so on Sunday afternoon, many of us residents actually decided to leave um, prior to the National Guard being called in. Um, then obviously there was the press conference on Monday and they told us they were going to do the controlled release. Um, I think we were all relieved when that went apparently well for the circumstances. Um, but now our concern is really recovery. Um, what what is this going to look like? And we're all you know concerned for our community and our environment. Um, so you're going to be in the hearing. Uh, there's a lot of activity behind you. I imagine there it's going to be a packed house there. What are you hoping to hear from Alan Shaw's testimony? You know he's making these promises, um, a lot of apologies. I don't know if there are very many specifics. What do you need to hear from him? Um, I guess I really do want to hear what the long-term commitment is for the residents. Um, there are potential health issues that will come in the future. You know, what's his commitment to that and um, staying for the cleanup, however long that takes. Also, as a homeowner, um, I'm interested in hearing, you know, what's going to be offered to us. You know, our, our property values are, are nothing right now. You know, even if we didn't feel safe and wanted to leave the area, I don't even know how we would do it. And you probably know the NTSB is launching a special investigation uh, into at least five significant derailments of Norfolk Southern since uh, December of 2021. What safety measures do you feel the train operator needs to put in place to prevent additional accidents like this from happening as it happened in your community? Um, I guess I never knew what was actually on the trains. You know, they, they come through our town all the time, and I just didn't really think about what was on there. But I definitely think that when they are carrying hazardous materials, they should not be traveling through populated areas. Um, and I, I, that's something I would definitely like to see change, just some more regulations. Erin, I, I want to ask you some more questions about just your personal experience. Um, you know, I, I, as journalists, we, we've been learning a lot about this sort of thing as well and about these chemicals. Were you given any information about what you need to do when you go back to your home? What, you know, the EPA was actually testing for and how the testing works? I mean, were you given the information that you need? Um, we live outside the mile radius. We were actually 1.4 miles. Um, so really what we were hearing was just, you know, don't drink the water. Everybody was interested in cleaning their house. But I feel like a lot of what we were told was that crisis that was happening a few days ago is, is now fine. It's no longer a crisis. Um, go home and live your normal life, um, which just isn't realistic. All right. What, what would you like, Erin, to see Norfolk Southern do for you and members of the community, especially those who are living in the impact? area. Um, I just want to see the continued commitment to our community um, for our health. You know, I would like to see yeah. Norfolk pay for all of that. You know, our personal insurance companies should not be paying for our health care that's related to the derailment. Um, also, our concerns with the water. They are digging up the tracks finally, but I really feel like that should have been done before the trains were running again. Um, and, you know, financial commitment to our community. The businesses are suffering, you know, so for those watching, you know, if you want to support East Palestine, please come to our community and purchase things and um, be a support because we're struggling. 
Aaron, I think I recall perhaps the mayor kind of telling residents to go to the doctor, get it, get a checkup now, so you can say what your stat, your health status was. And I thought, I can't imagine right. living with that anxiety in the years to come, mm. never knowing if you went back and stayed a little too long, if you end up with a health complication later on. Correct. Yeah, that's a definite fear. I do know some people who have had some health issues. My family has not. Um, but what you'll find is when you actually speak to some of the health professionals, they're not even sure what to look for. Mm. Um, so it's just there's a lot of uncertainty and confusion, and we're all wondering, you know, is staying there the right decision? We, we love our community. We love our town. We don't want to leave. Um, and like I said, I don't even know how we would as homeowners. But, um, you know, we're... We're, we're, there's a lot of anxiety, yeah, so. I can only imagine. Well, Aaron, thanks for, you know, talking to us before you head into the hearing. I hope you get sure. the answers that you, you are seeking. Thank you. Thank you very much.